In this video, I'm gonna show you a prototype with sound samples of a custom mono microphone I'm making for the DJI Osmo Pocket. Hey everybody, this is Andrew from TS for Tech, and today what I wanted to do was just quickly talk a little bit uh, about a little bit more research that I had uh, done with the Osmo Pocket Audio Adapter and what you're listening to right now and uh, how I kind of got to this. <laughs> so what I had started to do is I was reading the DJI forum uh, and there's a couple folks on there a guy named Bob and I don't know his last name and a guy named David Harry that were talking about how the Osmo wants or what they found in research on how the Osmo wants audio um, coming into the adapter um, and some of the common problems with some of the uh, the microphones and the lavaliers that they'd been using and it's a similar issue that I had in that some of the mono microphones sounded like garbage <laughs> and and basically I went through a bunch of my lavaliers um, and a bunch of different things uh, you know just over the last few days and I did a couple videos about it etc and and basically what what they found is that Osmo sounds the best if the tip and the ring have a signal basically both are providing a signal and in and I'll, and I'll flip to a diagram of what a TRS adapter normally uh, would be wired up as um, and that being kind of like the tip being one channel the ring being another channel with the idea that it's a stereo um, arrangement right so there's a left and a right channel now on a lot of lavalier microphones that's not the case they don't send a signal to both the tip and the ring and it sends it to just one or the other right it's either to the tip or it's to the ring and the problem I think that was happening and I think what uh, a couple other people this David Harry and this Bob guy were saying is that if the Osmo pocket audio adapter does not get a signal on both of those channels it tries to do something internally to make up for it right so either I don't and I don't know how this works right because I don't know if there's a chip in the audio adapter or, or what it's doing but it's basically trying to make two channels it's trying to make a left and right channel um, by either duplicating the audio with software I don't know maybe that's what's happening because what it seemed like is that whatever it's doing makes the sound garbage right there's like a little bit of latency between the two channels or it's something's going on and it just does not sound good um, and a lot of people have said that it doesn't sound good um, a lot of people have said just you know it sounds like crap <laughs> and I've experienced that right so what I had been doing and I don't know if you can really see this um, is I've been taking uh, these uh, a female and male uh, three um, I guess it's a solderless terminal where basically there's um, you know screw terminals on there uh, for a TRS jack and I was trying to make an adapter for the lavalier that had um, so that'd be like the, the Rode Smart Lab Plus going to a TRS adapter. Um, and then I have a Pop Voice lavalier and I have uh, a couple of JK mics from Amazon. And I was basically trying to wire them in a way that the signal would be coming through the tip and the ring would have the same signal, right? So they would be tied together. And I had a little bit of success with that and it seemed to work okay. Um, but then, um, this is kind of a, a sidetrack and the whole point of this video, so sorry that I'm taking so long to get to the point. Um, this David Harry on, on the DJI forum had mentioned a company called Mic Booster. Um, and if you go to their website, um, they sell a few different types of uh, microphones and accessories to build your own microphones and all of that. Um, but he had some really good success with a microphone called the Clippy, I think they call it the Clippy EM, or yeah, Clippy Mono EM172 microphone. And it uses a Primo uh, EM172 capsule. Um, 
and basically it's a lavalier and it's not really good so he's got actually and I'll link to it in uh, in this description he's got a, a video on YouTube that's um, showing off that microphone so that that clippy mono lavalier that sounds really good uh, so I ordered one of those uh, it hasn't come yet because it's coming from the UK but I also was looking on eBay and I said oh well I can buy the Primo uh, microphone capsule just off of eBay right just the capsule itself with the two uh, two wires on it so I bought one of those and that's what you're listening to right now so what I did is I took and I'll show in a different video here in a second how I constructed this but I basically took the Primo capsule uh, used one of these kind of screw terminal uh, TRS jacks and I wired it up and I'm using it on the Osmo and it sounds really good I already did some testing and um, it just sounds good and I didn't do anything else to this audio uh, the microphone setting on the Osmo pocket is set to just auto and you know the the uh, uh, the microphone capsule is just facing me uh, on this little jerry-rigged um, setup but I think it sounds really good so what I'm gonna do I'll talk about it in a second uh, I'm gonna build kind of like a 90 degree L shape uh, little little uh, microphone uh, to use with the Osmo pocket uh, with this capsule that I have and I actually probably will order a, a couple more capsules as well because they're only about eleven dollars uh, on eBay so let me know uh, what you think about the sound um, I mean, there's a little bit of echo reverb in, in, in this basement because I've got a lot of uh, walls and ceilings around. And this is an omnidirectional microphone, so it's it's picking up some of that um, echo uh, of the room. Um, so just FYI, um, that's where some of that's coming from. So this is, and I apologize for the audio here, I'm just using the on-camera uh, a microphone uh, from my uh, 60 mark II here um, but basically this is what that adapter looked like or what you heard a little bit earlier there um, and this is basically the uh, the Primo EM 172 capsule uh, connected to uh, this solderless TRS adapter, TRS plug, and like I said, uh, maybe a little bit earlier, the hot wire goes to the right, which is then bridged to the left channel, ground goes to ground, and basically what's happening then is that both uh, the left and right channels into the Osmo audio adapter are being supplied the mono microphone signal, right? Uh, and, and so I think it sounds pretty good. Um, honestly, uh, and, and it may be a little bit abrupt um, from like a, a bassy vo part of my voice. I have a kind of a deep voice a little bit, um, but I'll put a uh, foam uh, pop filter on there or a, a dead cat or whatever when I go outside. So it should it should kind of uh, make it make it sound just a little bit better, uh, perhaps. But anyways, so that's that's this is what it looked like. This is what you basically just listen to on the other part of this video and this is what I'm gonna do with it uh, to be you know uh, for the final product I, I basically got this 90 degree adapter off of Amazon and it's a solder uh, solder connection connection so if you can see here maybe I don't know if you can really see or not uh, but basically that's the left and right channel. There's two little posts in the center, and this is the ground. So I'll basically solder the black wire to this, and then the red to to this, and jumper those two together, um, so that I you basically get the signal that go across the left and right channels. And um, somehow I'm gonna get this this capsule, you know, kind of inside this thing, um, and then maybe some hot glue or whatever to the tip and then I can make basically an, a 90 degree swivel so the idea would be like in the Osmo pocket I could then you know have it face forward or then I could just spin it around uh, and face back at the camera if I'm doing a selfie or I can kind of turn it in any you know 360 degrees um, 
fairly easily. So basically, you know, like I said, uh, this will be, uh, the microphone will just be kind of on the end of this and, you know, a pop filter or dead cat or whatever. Um, and I think that'd be a nice way to have the microphone and, a, you know, be a nice little portable thing. So uh, link in the description to this as well, as well as a link to the Primo capsule that I bought on, it, on eBay. So hopefully this was helpful and you got a good idea of what this is going to sound like. And sometime over the next week here I should have another video uh, when I show the completed uh, 90 degree microphone and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks again for watching. This is Andrew from TS4Tech and I'll see you next time.